Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can edit this portrait step by step. So first thing first, go to window, click on actions, and here you have my actions. After you have clicked on actions, select clean, click play. Uh, this is for cleaning, and it's a black and white help layer, which helps us to start cleaning uh, in the details that we don't see in the color so I just started to clean with patch tool as you can see here you have three tools for cleaning one is spot healing brush uh, the second one is healing brush and the third is patch tool as you can see I have made them with shortcuts JKL you can uh, make them too so you just have to go to edit and go to toolbar after you have clicked that here you have your tools. So I just made a group with spot healing brush, healing brush and patch tool, and just click on the in this part and put the keyword uh, that you wanna use for this shortcut for the tool that you wanna work with. As you can see, I have uh, uh, made them with J, K, and L. Uh, this is for a faster workflow, so I can switch between them really fast so uh, you can do that this is a tip and trick for faster workflow so why not doing that uh, for the moment I'm working with spot healing brush as you can see uh, I will switch between the tools uh, for example, now I'm using patch tool. Patch tool is better for cleaning when we don't want to leave marks while we clean with spot healing brush. And patch tool is for that part. For example, this uh, pimple, I'm going to leave it for later. I will clean that with frequency separation. Because if I do that with spot healing brush, as you can see, I will leave some marks. If I do that with patch tool, I leave marks too, so I will leave it for later. And I will fix it in frequency separation technique. And right now, as you can see, I'm cleaning with spot healing brush. So... I highly recommend you guys to clean the portrait in the beginning because if you do that uh, you will have less work in frequency separation or in touch and burn so you can go anywhere without cleaning and for this part of the red veins in the eyes uh, you can choose to clean or not it's not necessary I find that some photographers leave them as they are, more like an original way, so don't worry about it. But if you think that you should clean mm, the eyes, do that. If you don't, don't do. It's not necessary, as I said. Let's just check for an after. This is just a general cleaning, as you can see, because I'm going to work with frequency separation after and I will still clean some parts for example those slides I'm going to remove them with frequency separation because if I do that I'm just going to leave some bad marks over there so I will only clean in general some small things for example the hair that's shown in the eyebrows and for this portrait it's not that I'm gonna clean the hair that much I'm just gonna clean the hair that is showing on the face because it's not looking that good Uh, this one I'm cleaning with patch tool 
as I said before. Patch tool is for when you want to clean and still not destroying the texture. This is a part that I'm going to clean with frequent separation technique and this one too. So don't worry guys, I will remove them later. I'm just going to clean this messy here too. I'll just check before and after. As you can see, this is just a general clean, so I'm just gonna merge the clean on background. I will hold Control key and click on background, right click, merge layers. After I do that, I go to frequency separation plus, which is the frequency separation, and for the radius. You have to zoom in right to the texture and you can slide it right till the texture disappears. I think that is good. Yeah, click OK. Open the group. Go to low frequency copy. After do that, you have to work with mixer brush. Mixer brush is here or it's somewhere here in your tools but I put it right there with brush tool and blur tool I made them in a group for the wet I go by 10 something like that for the load I go 22 mix 30 between 50 I don't know something like that and for the flow I go between 20 and 30 so let's just keep working and with a smaller brush, I'm just gonna mix the skin tones. Frequency separation technique is a really good technique for retouching. So uh, there are people that work with dodge and burn. And for my opinion, you can use both of them, for example, in all my video tutorials, I use frequency separation and dodge and burn. I mix them, so I'll create uh, better results. As you can see, I'm working on the color or the low frequency, which means the colors. So we are working only on the colors of this portrait. And after we are done with colors, we are going to work in high frequency, which is the texture. So don't forget that, guys. Uh, when you work in both of them, you will have great results. For sure. And as you can see, I'm mixing skin tones. But you have to check before and after every time because you can mess things around. Let's just check before and after frequency. And yeah, it's looking good. Keep working. Uh, I am using the Wacom Intuos Pro S. Uh, I highly recommend you guys to buy one for retouching. It's a really nice thing that you should have if you want to retouch in some better and faster ways uh, I used to work with the mouse but it's nothing compared to the Wacom in tools it's a pen so if you have the budget you can go check them out in Wacom in tools website I will drop a link down below so don't worry guys you will find them Uh, for the moment, I'm using my actions. Uh, you can find them on the link down below. The latest uh, action that I've created and put it on my Gumroad website 
is this one with retouching action full pack and the colors which is color grade white for the white skin and the color grade for the darker skin or the black Yeah, you can find them on my Gumroad website. Uh, for example, if you buy only the retouching action full pack is thirty dollars. If you white, uh, sorry, if you buy the color grade white skin is fifteen. If you buy darker or black skin tones, it's fifteen too. So. If you buy them one by one, it's going to be more expensive. But if you buy this action that I put it down there, uh, you're going to save some money. So if you are interested uh, in my actions, go buy them. Because when you buy them, you're helping me to create more tutorials. And I really 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 appreciate all of them who buy my actions because this is how i make my living i don't do anything else i don't work anything else so when you buy my actions you are really really helping me so thank thank you guys to all of you that have bought my actions i really appreciate all of you and as you can see, let's just check before and after what we've done here. As you can see, we have uh, made a mistake here, which is destroying the shadows. I'm just gonna make a layer mask. And with a brush, I'm just gonna remove this part because I don't want to destroy the, the shadows. Because without shadows, we have the we don't have a good results and as you can see we have to work on the high frequency now which is texture for this part I use clone stamp tool and you have to hold alt and copy paste the texture Uh, we have something here to clean on the forehead, as you can see. Uh, we have to clean the hair too, because we didn't clean them with spot healing brush in the beginning. So I'm just gonna clean them right now with clone stamp tool. This is the part when we clean in a professional way so as you can see we are not destroying the texture because when we do that the portraits are gonna look like I don't know what what is the right word for that but I guess you have seen in the past previous I don't know I don't know when the people make this kind of retouching when it's totally blurry and you will get some negative comments about it because you have destroyed the texture so this is why I'm creating these tutorials helping you guys to get the great results in retouching which means that you will have the great texture in your portraits and you have to put some some time on this part which is uh, texture which is working on texture so you have to be very 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 careful because if you do something wrong the portrait is not gonna look like what you have expected Let's just check before and after. 
and yeah we have to work on the neck too and the texture so I'm just gonna clean this part This is a part when we have to work with a smaller brush. Because we don't want to destroy the texture on the cheeks. Let's just zoom out, checking before and after. And as you can see, we have done something wrong here uh, in the high low frequency. So I'm just gonna go back with mixer brush and fix that part because it's not looking that good let's just check before and after and it's looking good but not that that good so i'm just gonna delete this part and leave it as it is i'm just gonna merge the low frequency with uh, low frequency copy I'm gonna duplicate it again uh, create a clipping mask because if we don't uh, do the clipping mask we can't merge them this is the reason why oh sorry you have to create the clipping mask so I'm just gonna work again here but not that much because we don't want to destroy the highlights here check before and after and yeah I guess it's looking it's looking good so we have to close the frequency group and go to dodge as you can see the dodge is a bit out of the way and turn on the black and white help layer click on dodge Click B for brush and with opacity of 10 and flow 100. I'm just gonna dodge some highlights. Uh, dodge and burn is a technique that. Uh, creates a depth in the portrait you can obviously use only dodge and burn for touching uh, but you have to be very 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 patient and put some time on it as you can see you are only dodging the highlights and start looking good I'm just gonna dodge the hair too Oops, sorry, it's a, another tool. I do that because all my tools are with shortcuts. So time to time I switch between, between them and I don't see the time when I switch, so I make mistakes. Be careful, guys. Uh, now I just Uh, burn the cheeks a little bit. I will do that on the forehead. I will do that on the neck too. A little bit of the body. I will burn some shadows on the hair so they will look better. Let's just check before and after zoom out all the burn and yeah i guess it's looking really nice let's just check dodge check before and after this entire process and as you can see it's looking really really nice i'm just gonna add some dodge here a little bit to the eyes let's just check before and after 
and yeah I guess it's looking good just add some burn here because we have lost the shadow and the frequency separation let's just check before and after I have added a little bit too much I'm just gonna swipe out with a flat brush and yeah I guess it's looking really nice so we have to work on the eyes let's just click play open the group go to the remove veins and this is for removing the veins or cleaning the white of the eyes so I'm just gonna paint on it after you have done that uh, you have to lower the opacity of this in 30 maybe because we don't want to clean that much uh, click on brightening this is for brightening the white of the eyes as you can see I'm working with a brush 100 so I will work faster and this one is too much of course so I'm just gonna lower the opacity of it and go to eyeball whitening start working on this too don't forget to do that in the both of them uh, I think it's looking really nice another thing is that we have to put some iris contour uh, this can work for the eyelashes too so you can do that why not it's only like a dark brush let's just check before and after this it's too much of course uh, before and after this entire process and yeah they're looking good uh, this one is for color if you want to change the color of the eyes you can do that for example only you have to paint on the eye and double click on this and you can change the color as you can see you can change the saturation lightness etc 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 sorry for my english but you can delete this because it's looking fake let's just check before and after the eyes and yeah they're looking really really good another thing that i want to work with is go to frequency separation create a, an empty layer and copy the color of this which is black click B for brush and I'm just gonna start recreating these lines of the makeup a blending mode from normal go to soft light and as you can see they started to look like more with makeup don't forget to do that in both of the eyes as you can see both parts and I'm just making them look like more darker and they will look better let's just check before and after yeah they're looking really nice you can create another empty layer this time go from blending mode to soft light or overlay zoom in a little bit and if you have for example color here you can copy which is something like this but I'm just gonna change it to the kind of orange red something like that into yellow till I find the right right color and I guess this one is okay before brush again as I said and paint it over there so let's just check before and after as you can see I'm just adding some color here uh, you can do that if you want to but it's not necessary I just let's just put this layer under the first one because we don't want to destroy this black one so I'm just gonna lower the opposite of this later as you can see we have just added some makeup 
and one thing another thing you can do is of course copy a color from this part for example and start painting with brush because obviously this portrait has a great makeup the makeup artist was really 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 good at it and as you can see before and after I just check burn yeah I think it's looking really nice let's just go to her lips click play because we want to work on the lips too it be for brush with a 100% of opacity I'm just gonna make them more into red so this is more like lipstick uh, you can change the colors if you wanna work but I prefer this uh, not to do it because the color of the portrait are really really nice so leave them as they are as you can see before and after let's just zoom out yeah this is too much obviously so I'm just gonna make it 25 and yeah I guess it's good duplicate this layer by drag and drop to the plus from blending mode normal you can go to soft light or overlay I choose soft light and make this layer 15 and this is looking good I guess I will make them in a group rename that group lips I'm just gonna add two empty layers this one I will make it on multiply this one I will make it on screen and copy color from the lips which is red kind of pink and start painting this one in the screen blending mode is for the highlights so I'm just gonna add some highlights to the lips but be careful because right now it's looking fake as you can see and lower the opacity of this after we are done with that we go to the second layer which is multiply and this one is for shadows into the lips so I will just keep working zoom out always you have to zoom out if you wanna see the great results uh, let's just zoom in again check lips group as you can see it's too much obviously so I'm just gonna lower the opacity by 50% let's just check before and after and yeah I guess it's looking really nice let's just check before and after this entire process and I think that we have to work a little bit on this part so I'm just gonna go back to the frequency separation make another empty layer and copy the color which is like the skin but a little bit lighter before brush and start painting on this part until I make the lips look better I guess let's just zoom out check before and after and yeah I think it's looking really nice I'm just gonna lower the opposite of it click OK zoom out check before and after and yeah I guess it's looking really nice so go to background duplicate this one too uh, hold shift keyboard and click here with your right click you can group layers and rename it retouch and duplicate retouch right click and merge layers merge group sorry and it will create a single layer so we can check before and after easily as you can see we have done some great results only thing that we are have to work is that this part 
So I'm just going to delete this layer, go back to the group and go to frequency separation, uh, go to low frequency separation or the colors, start working on this part, go to the high frequency or the texture and work with clone stamp tool until we have some good results here. Let's just check before and after. And yeah, it's looking good. Oops, sorry. Duplicate this group again. Merge the group. And after you have done that, now it's time for color grade. And for color grade, I'm just gonna hold control keyboard, click A for cut for entire selection, click C for copy, go to file, new, and create, click control and V for paste, merge them, so I'm just gonna hold control and merge layers, uh, now I go to retouching action, which is, oops sorry, I go to color grade white skin, and I will click play on the color grades, uh, until I find the right one. Uh, this one is looking good, but not for my portrait. And this one is absolutely amazing, but I will check them one by one until I find my best color grade. Uh, this one is looking nice, but not for this portrait. Uh, this one is not looking good. Yeah, this one is good, but you have to you have to play with your uh, layers, which is this one, for example, because you will find their best color grade, but you have to play with them until we have great results. So I'm just gonna go through them and yeah, this one is looking good, but always lower the opacity of this because we don't want this much color grade. Uh, this one is too much. This one is not that much. And I guess this one is gonna work. Yeah, this one is working, but I will save it for later because I'm going with two to three uh, color grades. Let's just reduce the opacity of this by 15. 15 not 500, sorry. Go back again to this untitled. And I guess it was CG3. Yeah, this one is looking good. And drag and drop it to this part. As you can see, uh, this one is the color grade A4, which is looking really nice, but I, I think that I have to lower the opacity a little bit. And go back to this one. Let's just check them one by one until we find the best color grade. And I think this one, Curves one, is making the difference. Let's just check it by 100. And I think that I have to go by 20, something like that. Check color balance, which is too much, obviously. Let's reduce that opposite of it. And this one is okay, but not that much. And yeah, I guess it's looking okay. Uh, after we have done that, we're just gonna add a bit more color. So I'm just gonna duplicate retouch copy and hold control keyboard with a shift and make them a group, which is right here. I rename it color grade. Open the group and I'm just gonna add some color balance to it 
uh, this time I'm just gonna duplicate this I go to the first one from blending mode I'm just gonna go oh sorry I'm not gonna change the blending mode I'm just gonna go to the highlights and play with the highlights until you find the right color grid and this one is looking good but reduce the opacity of this go back to this one and this one go from blending mode from normal go to soft light and double click on this this is for the midtones so i'm just gonna work on them and go from 100 to 20 oops sorry not 200 now it's looking good go to selective color choose blacks and for the blacks i'm just gonna add a little cyan and play with the yellow i think they're looking good reduce the opacity of this always go back to the black and white blending mode from normal go to luminosity and start playing with reds as you can see and yellows reduce the opacity of this by 15 go to selective color choose yellow or reds and play with the cyan magenta and yellow till you find the correct colors that you're looking for reduce the opacity of this by 25 not 200 click ok let's just check the group before and after and as you can see uh, this one is a little bit too much i'm just gonna lower the opacity of this by 80 something like that click ok another thing we're gonna add to the color grid is face contouring so just click play and this one is for the contours as you can see it's obviously too much double click on this and slide this one this is for the highlights let's just check yeah it's too much again lower the opacity of this and put it to the color grid group and as you can see it's again too much so i'm just gonna lower the opacity of this by 70 and yeah, it's looking really nice uh, drag and drop this is for the duplicate and merge the layers merge merge group and we have the color grade layer which is a single layer let's just check before and after this entire process this is the straight out of camera file which is soc and this is the retouch this is the color grade this is before this is after this is before and this one is after let's just zoom in this is straight off camera file this is retouch let's just check retouch zoom out a little bit and this is color grade and this is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe if you didn't already please don't leave uh, please don't forget to leave a comment down below uh, let me know about my retouching skills let me know about my English language speaking if you are understanding me let me know if I am understandable because sometimes I can say not the properly words for the tutorial so let me know in the comment section don't forget to leave some likes because of the algorithm because when you give me some likes comments subscribes etc etc uh, I'm gonna start making money from YouTube so thank you guys for watching I really really appreciate all of you who is watching my videos 
every time that I post something. And see you guys in the next one. Peace.